I'm gonna try laying up a panel using this flax fabric. I've got some resin mixed up. This is the tabletop epoxy from Total Boat. I got tons of bubbles in there when I was mixing it. Ooh, that was messy. Oops, I'll make it work. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread out a layer, hit that with the heat gun. I definitely lowered the viscosity and released a lot of bubbles. Put down that first layer of flax. Oof. Yeah, I put down too much resin on the first layer, so that makes it kind of messy. It's fine, it'll soak up into the upcoming layers. This is very resin thirsty. I mixed up 66 grams of resin approximately. And the fibers weighed about 52 grams, the four layers of the flax fiber. I thought that would be in the vicinity of what I need, but I think I'm gonna need twice as much. This is how far 66 grams of resin got me. And I still have another whole layer to add, so I, def I definitely need to mix up another batch of resin. That's now fully twice as much resin as I thought I was gonna need. Maybe it's too much, maybe it's because the table epo tabletop epoxy is too viscous for this. I don't know, but that's what I'm gonna be finding out. So it should be nice and wetted out now. Add in that top piece of the Teflon coated peel ply. Now I'm gonna to try to roll out some of those bubbles and excess resin. And you can hear when the bubbly popping sound stops. So I just keep going until it sounds like I got out as much air and compressed everything. And all that type of stuff. So no more bubble popping sounds towards the center. So that should be pretty good. Clean this off a little bit because I don't want to get resin on my glass. I think I may have gotten some residue on there. The glass has release wax on it, but still those little thin Smudges are difficult to get off. Let's keep that in place so it doesn't move around during the cure. Or not during the cure. Make sure it doesn't move around while it's going into the vacuum bag. It'd be pretty crazy if stuff started moving around while it was curing. Same thing for the other side. I'll give it one last roll. Feel down to get those aligned. It's right about there. I'm also going to add a heating pad on top of this. I want to warm up the resin so that it can hopefully spread out better. Any excess can flow out the sides and help to carry out any air bubbles with it. That'll do. So I'm gonna just leave that to cure. I've turned this on high. So we'll see how that comes out. I let it cure overnight with the heating pad on, under vacuum, should be cured now. So I'm gonna open it up and see how it looks. Definitely some squeeze out, but I wouldn't say an excessive amount. It's pretty normal. This is still very warm. Probably let that cool off for a while. That's not exactly beautiful. <laughs> Definitely got some pinholes. I think that I prefer the deep set fathom epoxy that takes longer to cure, but it's very low viscosity. It's really easy to mix and it doesn't get completely full of air bubbles like that. And if there are air bubbles, you just leave it sitting for a bit 
and they just come to the top because of viscosity. So, uh, but just checking to see how that table tabletop epoxy works. Yeah, still pin holes in this side. A little closer here, maybe. There you go. When the light hits it, you can see those on both sides. Oh, okay. So it's a little translucent with four layers. Definitely see my hand shadow through there. I think that maybe this would look nice if I were to put a dye into the resin, maybe. Give it some sort of base color other than just the natural. It's just a little bit darker than I would have liked because I want to use this as a canvas for painting. At least that's the idea I want to try out. Here's what one layer looks like where it just overlapped on the edge. That's kind of cool, actually. Anyways, overall, it worked well enough to give this a test. I'm gonna let it cure completely and then trim off the edges and sand this down to expose the fabric and just see what happens. not wanting to cut with the wet saw. Weird. I was washing the board in the sink and it seemed like it was warped a lot, but I didn't notice that while I was sanding it. So I'm wondering if getting it wet was maybe what made it seem like it was wanting to warp. So I sandwiched it between these sheets of glass to dry with paper towels here. And yeah, now, let's see. Now it seems flat, perfectly flat. I'm not feeling any corners rising. So that's really interesting. It seems that the linen, next to the flax, it seems that the flax, when you get it wet, it can warp, which would actually be really bad for using this for painting, which is what I'm planning on doing, because then while you're painting and getting it wet, it could do all kinds of crazy stuff. That's the only thing I can think of, unless it was the heat from sanding, but again, it didn't seem like it was warped when I first brought it in. It was only while I was sanding it, or while I was rinsing it after sanding it. There's still quite a lot of holes here. I couldn't sand deeply to get deeply enough to get those. They really didn't take the resin in there. I think what I should have done was put some porous uh, release fabric. Let me grab that. I'm thinking that a good process would be to put this on both sides of it after laying it up and then add the non-porous sheet. I think that's a good compromise between higher resin content because we do have this keeping the resin in as much as possible. But this textured surface, I think, uh, the textured surface, surface that this gives, I think will help to break the surface tension of the resin and reduce the pinholes. I'm gonna have to do a test on that to see if that's accurate. I am not sure, but that'll be really interesting to test out because this is just not acceptable to have all these holes in the composite even after sanding. The texture is pleasant. You can feel that it is like fabric under there, like a natural material, kind of like blue jeans. So I do want to try painting on this. I'm just not sure what's gonna happen with the water situation, but that will be interesting to find out. I'm gonna continue testing. 